Hey everyone, I'm Alex. Thanks for clicking and welcome to this lesson on expressions with hang. Today we will be looking at one, two, three, four, five, six different expressions that all use the word hang in some way. I hope some of them will be familiar and some of them will be new to you guys. So first up, hang on. The sentence says, could you hang on a minute? When we see a minute, hang on, clearly we see this means to wait, okay? So to hang on means to wait. Um, generally, we use hang on in the imperative form, which means we give a command. So if you're listening to a person tell a story and you want to say, whoa, 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 hang on, hang on, wait, 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 also kind of like stop in this situation, and if your friends are running away and you're like, whoa, hang on, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, okay? So this means wait, and usually it's given in a command form, okay? Next up, we have hang up. So the sentences here say, did you hang up the phone? He hung up on me. So to hang up, generally, all the time actually, we use it to refer to ending a phone call and clicking the end button, okay? So to hang up is to end a phone call. And the important part here is to know you can use the preposition on if someone hangs up on you. So if I say he hung up on me, that means he ended the phone call. Now, usually this is because the other person was angry or upset at you. So, I can't believe he hung up on me. I can't believe she hung up on me, okay? Next one is hang out. So, do you want to hang out this weekend? Um, if you watch a lot of movies or if you listen to music, um, anything related to pop culture, you have probably heard this a lot, uh, TV shows as well. And to hang out just means to spend time, okay? So you hang out with your friends um, on the weekends. And hanging out means not doing anything in particular, uh, but just spending time with your friends. So you can hang out at someone's house. Uh, you can hang out at a coffee shop. So just hang out, spend time together in a casual situation, okay? The next one is to hang around. So we're hanging around the mall. So you're talking on the phone and your friend calls you and says, hey, where are you? We're looking for you. And you say, oh, we're just hanging around the mall. So hang around, you might think has a very similar meaning to hang out because you are spending time, but hang around means you're spending time usually in one specific area and usually it's because you're wasting time and waiting for something else to happen. So it does mean to spend time in an area. Now again, as I mentioned, usually you're waiting for something else to happen when you're hanging around. So, you know, if you tell your friends, well, oh, just hang around here for five minutes, just spend some time, kill the time here, okay? And I will be back. Just hang around this area. Next is to hang in. And this is one that we definitely most often use in a command form as well, imperative form. So hang in just a little longer. You'll notice I put the term, the word there um, in parentheses, in brackets. And this is because we often use this with hang in. So if I say hang in there, this means, well, it means to don't give up, keep surviving, keep fighting. So to hang in, means to continue or to survive or to not give up. So if you're watching uh, a mixed martial arts fight, for example, and one of the fighters in the fight, you know, you, you don't expect him to win and you say, wow, it's round three. He has hung in for three rounds. So he has hung in there for three rounds. This means that he has survived. He is still going, continuing for th the third round. I'm sorry, my tongue is doing th th th. 
things. And finally, uh, the expression to hang on someone's every word. So for example, I hung on the professor's every word. This means you pay attention to, listen to, you're uh, interested in the person's every word. So basically this means to be interested in everything or by everything a person has to say. Now, you can use this when you're listening to a lecture. Uh, you can use this if you're listening to a politician, uh, you know, give a speech, and you're just interested in everything a person has to say, okay? So to quickly review, hang on means to wait, hang up means to end a phone call, hang out is to spend time, usually with friends, ca casually, Hang around, you're spending time in one area, hanging around a doctor's office, hanging around the mall. Um, to hang in is to continue, to survive, to not give up, usually in an imperative form. So hang in there, come on, hang in, keep going, don't give up. And to hang on someone's every word, you're interested and attracted to a person and everything that they have to say more specifically. So, if you'd like to test your understanding of these six hang expressions, as always, you can check out the quiz on engvid.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.